What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about digital and optical zoom. So those with DSLRs who have the interchangeable lenses, this is not really going to be anything to do with you, but it's more so for the bridge cameras and also if you're doing photography on your mobile phone and things like that. So firstly we're going to talk about optical zoom. Optical zoom is how far you can zoom in or out with your actual lens or camera without affecting the image quality. So if you've got an 18 to 55 mil lens, you can zoom in between 18 and 55. Each of those focal lengths will have the same quality because that's your optical zoom. And that's using the optics in the lens itself. Then on the other hand, when you're using digital zoom in bridge cameras and mobile phones like that, what it does, it digitally enhances and zooms in on the image to get you closer to what your subject needs to be. However, when it does that, that degrades image quality. You'll probably be able to see on some of your images, it gets really pixelated and very blurry and things like that. The best thing I I'd recommend is if you've got a camera that does digital and optical zoom is zoom in as far as you can on optical zoom and if you need to go in zoom further take it on the furthest optical zoom that you can take it in your editing software and then zoom in using that image because the quality is going to be so much better than using the inbuilt camera or phone digital zoom so you're going to end up with a better image but like i said those with dslrs and interchangeable lenses and stuff like that you're not going to have to worry about this because all of the zooming is optical zoom because you zoom using the lens itself. But with cameras with the lenses built in, then that's the issue that comes up with digital and optical zoom.